Sunflowers are flowers that follow the sun. Just to look at this image activates in us a state of consciousness because it would have been very different if we had put a cactus, for example, or a tsunami. Different sensations. Everything represents a state of consciousness. So whatever is on the exterior is also in our inner world in terms of state of consciousness. This is why it's so important to know, to learn symbolic language. Also to analyze our dreams. Dreams are so important because they help us to know us very, very profoundly. Let's take an example. When I was a teenager, I was around 13, 14 years old, I received a dream and it's still present in me. It is as it was yesterday. In that dream, I was looking at my legs and on each knee there was a flower, a sunflower. So there were two sunflowers. Wow! It was so weird in the dream because it was not like in this image. It was in my skin. It had grown, you know, from my skin. It was still supple, it was a flower, but it was so concrete, so vivid, that dream. What was the meaning of that dream? At this period, I didn't know. But in reactivating the knowledge of symbolic language, I could understand very profoundly the code fundamental codes that I had recorded at that period. I was a teenager. Some people may say, wow, sunflowers on your knees, this is cool. Yes, but we know that a symbol can be always positive, but also negative, always the plus, always the minus. And the sunflowers, were not in the right place. So here in that dream, they were negative. So first of all, we analyze the legs, the knees, and then the sunflower. What does it mean in terms of consciousness? It's very logical. We take the concrete aspects and then we transpose it in terms of state of consciousness and we can understand a lot of things. So the legs, what do we do with the legs? We move forward, it's the action. So I was being shown how sometimes, because it's important in your dreams, if you want to analyze also your nightmares, your negative dreams, you have to have compassion, not to be harsh on yourself and understand that it's a percentage, sometimes a small percentage. So how I was advancing at that time, in the world of action and knees. So what's the purpose of knees? They are the joint that allow us to bend our knees. So symbolically, it represents our flexibility, suppleness, submission, because you know, when we'll knee, knee on the ground, when we pray, for example, submission, 
So mission to what? To whom? To something that is right or not right? Adaptability. And when we talk about submission, we can also talk about authority. And at that time, I had a father, a good father with qualities, but he was very concrete and sometimes very authoritarian. The authority was not always right. So let's analyze now to understand the symbol of the sunflower. Why sunflowers? It could have been something else. Sunflower. They have a very long stem that, you know, goes up. So I was with my feelings. And when you see flowers, plants, it's always related to feelings, emotions. So what kind of emotion, feelings I had in the way I advance and I submit? Or I was supple, but supple to what? So I was trying to elevate myself. And yes, I had a father that was very concrete, but I was also brought up by a member of my family. She was like my grandma, and she was very spiritual. She used to help missionaries. So I was also very spiritual. And so I was trying to understand submission and authority, elevate myself, because if we analyze the sunflower, just like a botanist. We take, you know, the scientific aspect. What are the characteristics of a sunflower? It can be very different from another flower, for example. So they are very, you know, they, they, they follow. They follow the light. They follow the sun. When they are young, young plants, they follow the sun from east to west to grow. And then when the flower appears, they stabilize and they stay always in the same directions, east, south. So like the flowers, you know, in my submission, in my advancement, I was trying to follow the light. The light is knowledge, but it was mixed up with a wrong codification of an authority that was not right. And if I had that father, that was perfect for me. You know, through the law of resonance, we have always something to understand. So having a concrete father, it prevented me from flying too high, you see, <laughs> too high. And I had a lot of confidence also, uh, a lot of hyper-positivism. So the negative aspects of the sunflower, because here, remember, it's not at the right place. So it might code, it might code to submit, to advance, to follow the light. But here, sometimes to want to shine too much, to follow, you know, the, the light that is shining too much, following somebody that is wanted to shine too much with a complex of superiority also. So it had to be recodified. And thanks to the knowledge, I could recodify, you know, this great confidence, but hyper-confidence, too much. When there is too much, it means that there is a lack. To find the right confidence, because it's yellow also, the, among other colors, and to follow the light, the knowledge that is right because I've always been very successful in my life. But to have this right confidence for the right success. And symbolic language is so important. And with the DSSI program, we learn, we learn the symbolic language. It is so important also to interpret our dreams because we understand the codes of who we are.